My name's Eileen Floody. Um, I've lived in Tofino since 2006. I used to live in Ontario, uh, where I had a career as a, a librarian and uh, worked in nonprofit fundraising. What was my favorite book as a child? The Alice books. I, I have my own copy of Wonderland and Looking Glass in, in one volume. Here it is. Um, it, it's, it doesn't even have illustrations. That's, uh, but I got it from my grandparents. And I just I read those stories over and over again as a child. Uh, I love the magic, the silliness, the poetry. Um, I can quote, was brillig in the slithy toes, did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the bar groves and the mome wraths out grave. Anyway, I read a lot as a, a child, <clears throat> uh, a lot of different books, fairy tales and so forth. My other much read book was uh, The Golden Pine Cone. Um, it's part of a series of books written by Catherine Anthony Clark and illustrated by Claire Bice. In the 1950s, they were fantasy related, but very firmly placed in British Columbia. And I loved all of them. They're, they're old fashioned now, but they're a, a fabulous Canadian, um, early Canadian success that I don't think many people are aware of. What is the recent, recent book I read? Um, I, d I don't listen to, to, um, to books, unfortunately. I, I'm not sure why, I, I just don't, but, so I read, I read physical books. My a recent book I really liked was Blowout by Rachel Maddow. It looks formidable, but it's an excellent political overview of the effect that big oil has on politics around the world. And it's, uh, if, you, if you watch Rachel's show on MSNBC, you can hear her voice in the way everything's phrased in the book. She's very trenchant, very funny. Um, so it, it's definitely worth, worth reading. I also highly recommend Gathering Moss. I, I like the book so much and there's so many people waiting for it that, that I bought my own copy. It's by uh, Robin Wall Kimmerer and she's an amazing author. What other resources do I use from the library? I have downloaded music. Um, I, I think that that's a terrific feature. You know, the way you can download for free, you know, everybody uses all these paid resources and and here it is, they're, they're available and I've tried to spread the word on that. Uh, actual books are my favorite, as, as I said. Um, I, I will hope to use uh, the Canopy, the uh, video um, feature in the near future because you know TV gets, yeah, there's limited resources there. And speaking of limited resources, our local Tofino library doesn't have a lot on site. So I use the, the website a great deal. How do I think my life story affects my relationship with the types of books I am drawn to? Um, well, Chris, as I said before, I'm a li I was a librarian in my past career and I've always been drawn to new books, I guess. New books um, really grab me and uh, reading reviews and, and choosing books for the library collections when I worked there was just a real treat. I just, I just loved doing that. I, I read a lot of um, nonfiction, especially science and, and political uh, books, as long as they're written well, like the ones that I mentioned. And for Escape, right now I'm really enjoying historical based mysteries. Uh, C.S. Harris with her hero Viscount Devlin is a current, is a current favorite of, of mine. My husband reads them too. We, we sort of fight over who gets to read it first. Um, I used to be a real fantasy fan, but I find that they're, repetitious now and they don't have much grounding in any kind of reality and there's too many dragons <laughs> too many dragons what does the library mean to me I, I love libraries i think they're an essential service um i think you know i've read about libraries a lot and i think one of the things we should do is still mourn the loss of the Library of Alexandria. That, that hurts me a lot that all those scrolls and documents were, were, were burned in, in, uh, back in the day. <laughs> um, and nowadays, I think there's, you know, there's a lot of non-book services that libraries are offering and, and have been for actually for a long time. I, when, I, 
was in libraries, we brought in computers for people to use. And that was a long time ago, back in the, the 80s. Um, but I think there needs to be a real retention of local history and, um, and just a sense of place in any library al along with, with the e-universe of, of resources that are available. What do I miss most about working at the library? I, I miss the people. I met so many locals through working at the library and that was wonderful. Uh, it was great to help people find what they were looking for and, and give them new options and, and helping the kids especially. Uh, doing story time was always a lot of fun. I've done story time in just about all of my, in a lot of times in my career. And uh, I, I can't sing and it's always really funny to watch the kids watch me as I try and try and sing something with them. They kind of look at me like, huh, lady? Anyway, it's still, still, I, I loved reading the stories to them. Strong libraries, strong communities.